Hello everyone, good anytime zone, whatever you are, whenever you are. My name is Kiri Vakio and I am your host and your voice for the voice. Here's to entertain you and may or may not yap a little bit too much. <laughs> ah, welcome to the Kire Yapping Show. I technically do not have a name for it yet, so if you guys do have a good name to suggest, you tell me about it. I still have no idea what names I can use. <laughs> Aside from that, um, welcome, welcome uh, to Kiribaku Dog Shows. My name is Kiribaku again. Um, not really a lot of things to talk about. Um, so today, personal adding, uh, you know, personal news on my stream, on what I'm doing, this and that, yada, yada stuff, that I actually finally start my uh, art commission shop. As you guys already can see, this is all the art commissions that I have. I think last week I already talked about it, but I haven't really like truly start up my shops and then like, you know, open it up, wait for people to come in. Um, so far, I can tell you one thing. I got no customer. Uh, yeah, the fate of like a shop owner, I guess. You just open a shop. If no one comes in, no one comes in. That's a little bit sad, but yeah, that also like is another thing is because of my like weird conditions about like uh, if anyone want to order YCH for me, they have to um you know order it while I'm live, which is like something quite hard to catch. <laughs> uh, I might have to change the condition a little bit. Uh, I'm still workshopping on the ideas. I'm still workshopping on the ideas. There's still lots of things I would try to do but still haven't restarted yet uh I, I will i will soon and standing on it and a great news i actually start making a animated emote yes animated emote that's the lots of things i can like do with animated emote as because like i noticed like in twitch they only let you like 60 frame but they never like disclose like what seconds you are uh you is limited to so uh, since most of the animations is really like s stay within like 15 frames per second, uh, you can actually do quite lots of stuff with 20 frames per second. So I decided to make like a 2 seconds like animations and use it as like an animated emote that will be my staple of my YCH. Um, that is like uh, in a way I am trying my best to do quite a lot of like uh, unique stuff. Uh, I first originally already have like one of the YCH like dummy established and then another sample as already shown behind me in the screen and I also make my first ever digital goods which is also the same using the same base of that YCH as a representation of the chat to smash the wood button <laughs> uh, there's still lots of buttons I can make but so far, I think the wood button would be my first startup. Um, it's the best uh, because I know the chat. Um, when it comes to like down bad stuff, they, they will do a lot of down bad stuff. So yeah. <laughs> uh, am I knowing you guys a little bit too much? But either way, uh, that would be my first uh, digital goods merch and how are you going to get it is actually going to my gank page I know it sounds a little bit sus <laughs> yes it sounds a little bit sus but uh, either way um, it is a special page uh, specially created for any Southeast Asia creator um, or like anyone in Asia uh, it's like uh, it's basically Ko-Fi but for Southeast Asia but it's I think in, in a particular way it's much more better than Ko-Fi because they are the one who are going to keep your money it's not like PayPal is the one that you know do all the process and stuff first so you send money to them they keep it and then you withdraw it either via using the bank uh, your own bank like account or uh, using other like touch and go or grab or something like that like that depends on like what kind of like um currency source uh digital uh, e-wallet you use uh in like southeast asia so it's like e southeast asia e-wallet friendly so it's much much more better for you guys to uh, uh you know do a lot of stuff with it but again again 
uh, if you guys need to know where this link is, it's actually within the descriptions on the support and tipping side. So just go into that and then you can click and go into it. Uh, I also offer membership donations page and uh, of course my my latest like the digital goods stuff. Uh, so you guys, if you really want this uh, specifically smashing the wood button, it's still friendly for um, Twitch animated emote. Also, if you really want, you can actually use it to put it in. Um, uh, you know, like those kind of like uh, chat system alert. Uh, you can have it for maybe Streamlabs, you uh, maybe uh, Stream Elements, Bot Tricks, this and that, yeah, that stuff. You can you can use quite lots of things that display like the GIF when you do like subscribe or like follow or like do anything or like something like that. Uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent things to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also it's $28. Uh, I discussed this uh, with my chat while I'm making it to, to be honest. And they say like, um, generally it's like $30. So I drop it to like um, $28 because um, I'm just generous. <laughs> And to be honest, there's actually a hidden, uh, hidden options. If you are fellow Malaysians, you can just DM me, and then, yeah, I, I can, I can just like lower the price for you. <laughs> Either way, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next topic, on the stuff that I want to do a little bit yapping about. Um. What kind of stuff that I want to do like a little bit yapping about? Um, it's actually quite... Um, uh, not a lot of things to talk, but I do want to talk about this particular uh, specific stuff that I have like realized that is that... Ya boy here... Ya boy here misunderstood what is double vision um when you guys try to think about double vision you would think like some kinds of like movie effect that you see like those like and then like you see like the 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 vision is kind of like uh split apart and then combined back together split apart and then combined back together those kind of thing you you would thought that would be double vision and then later on i realized that Double that is that is technically not double vision. When you say double vision is actually your left eye and right eye seeing things individually. It doesn't necessarily have to be blurred. Um you can see double of your eyes information, like your left eye information and right eye information, but they're still crispy clear. And that is what I'm experiencing. I keep telling uh, I tell my um, I keep telling my doctors uh, every single time they ask like do you have double visions and I was like no because I assume it's like those kind of like movie effect stuff <laughs> and I technically in a way um, did misinform my doctors when they keep asking me those kind of things and then when like this past few days I talked to my friends uh, a while before this video is made and I talk about my annoying issues like Aside from having vertigo and stuff, uh, I would say like sometimes my eyes sight would kind of like split apart and I can't tell like, you know, like we can converge our eyesight into one thing because we have two eyes. When we kind of like look at one item is because our brain have the ability to converge both sight into one side. The problem is I have issue of that, but the two image I'm seeing is crispy clear. And if I actually got used to it, I can legitly see and track stuff while I'm seeing two image. <laughs> because I got used to it. You know, I thought like that, I assume like that is like, again, like I was born with my condition. So I, I just assume most of this thing is like, sometimes people can have it. But apparently my friend told me like, that sounds like double vision. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and then it clicked in my head. I was like, oh, wait, that is double vision. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, I, I, I am an actual uh, genuine idiot that 
did not notice this thing is an actual like issues. Ah, <sighs> you know. Next time I'm going to do my doctor appointment again, I I have to clarify that. Uh, they might have to add a little bit more stuff, but they already know that I have like some issues with my ears, that I will have constant vertigo, and it's a little bit bad. To be precise, it's very bad. <laughs> Invisible disability is something that is very 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 annoying, especially my conditions is like it's actually not within the disability spectrum It's kind of like very annoying depends on how annoying it is. It might turn into disability um, The problem is the the way the doctors hear my, my descriptions They say it's actually borderline already reaching the disability part. The problem is I kind of look fine and I kind of able to function while being very bothered by it. So uh, because of that, I'm not exactly landed within like disability zone, but at the same time kind of is, which is very complicated, very complicated. Uh, again, I talk a lot of it about in my stream that is like practically, um, even if I register as a disability, I would not get any benefit from it because I still can function, I still can work. So it doesn't hinder a lot of things from me. So yeah. Either way, there's not a lot of thing to talk about. Um, if you guys have any like a special news that you want me to talk about, like how games industry uh, nowadays or like how comic, uh, how manga industry and industries are nowadays or like some special funny news like last uh, my last video if anyone watch it a guy actually practically alone uh, take out a lot of like loan stuff just to satisfy her, her you know like his his like um future wife <laughs> future why uh I, I feel a little bit uh that 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 is like a little bit point of like um that guy didn't know how to do math the wife do not know how to do math both are both are clearly either like either on the uh, dumb dumb spectrum or like they didn't think straight because there's too many arguments uh, let's hope it's not like a rocky situation for them i <laughs> just going to say that that's all either way let's move on to the next stuff so in two days Special VP news, as you already can see, Cornelius though is trying to get a summer body, and he made a stream. Uh, too bad you guys missed it. Maybe one day you will have it again. So do drop by into his link from here, and then you can watch him do his thing. How he going to get a six pack body in one day? Not sure he's going to do it every day or every week. Who knows? Remember to pay attention. Mm, keep reminded him. You have to do a setup. <laughs> Either way, let's go into let you see like what he is doing. Uh, that, as you can see here. <laughs> well, um, this is basically his workout program and stuff. Lots of squat, lots of push up, lots of everything, and then like that's a very very um uh spectacular tight shots <laughs> that you guys can witness that which is the best thing in the world in his content mm. Mm. if you guys love would love to see more tight shots then pay attention to Cornelius uh, channel and what he will be doing in his stream so if somebody actually got his eye burned from the short shots then uh, let's Come in to have a cleanse and have uh, basically get a shot of cuteness from Nana no, no, latest like uh, 3D model that she managed to make it in v -Roid. Aren't you the cutest one, huh? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess this is like enough, um, enough heavy dose of cuteness. You might die, die of diabetes if you watch it too much. But either way, yes! No, no. Do remember to pay attention into her stream, so you guys do want to have a lot more cuteness shot to get shot. I suddenly do not know how to speak. <laughs> I guess I also got stunned by the shot. <laughs> and alright, let's get ahead to our fluffy shot. 
uh, the raw card gem that technically will smash your head if you um, if you say no when she feed you bread. <laughs> this is what a Malaysian dish is called nasi lemak. Technically, not just Malaysian dish, it's a Southeast Asian dish, but still, um, nasi lemak is like generally you can see it in like Malaysia a lot. Uh, it's a very very tasty food. It's a very tasty food. The rice itself tastes very different than how you think rice tastes. Yeah, trust me, trust me. When you come to Malaysia, visit Malaysia, do try out nasi lemak. That is the first thing you have to do. So yeah, and onward to our next one, uh, Haru, which he is still uh, neck deep into the downward spiral of gacha game. So ignore this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, you, you guys should go in and give him some support when he does a gacha pull, so he can actually get Ellen. <laughs> so yeah, onward again to the next. One. I have no better word. So you guys give me uh, aside from onward, give me a lot of different prompts that I can just keep on skipping to the next one. To the next one, okay, okay. Next one, Karin. Uh, she actually put a post as like, what is your first impression of me? Uh, for her, I would say like most of the people would thought she is like some sort of like Mexican princess, which is uh, a little bit on the weirder side. Maybe it's the crown, as you guys can see here. Uh, but technically, it's not exactly a crown. It's more like what she actually like say like, um, what again? Uh, because of her like, I forgot like what the head thing is. Yeah. I keep I, I know what it is, but also the same time I, I have brain fart, I can't recall it. You guys can do a little bit of research on it, I guess. <laughs> For my first impression of her back in the days, well, well the first time I know her, uh, all I know is just one thing. Then her design is most likely want to start a fight with the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Aside from that, let's move on to the last one about VP Mender. And this is about Mizuyori, and I have no idea what this thing is. I stopped questioning uh, a lot of things about this a long time ago, so yeah. <laughs> uh, at least I have to read. The whole Prism Moon live cast is right now is the whole most popular girls in school episode, and I do. <laughs> Love this vibe. <laughs> you know what? Again. No comment on the behavior. <laughs> Alright, move on to the next one. This will be the end of the VP stuff that were happening this week. And then move on to the content creator and VTuber related stuff. Move along. About first thing first, I bro share this thing. Uh, first thing I see is, I'll be like, Ooh. Who in the heck does this? Florida man breaks into house, shave cat's head, and leave without saying anything, stealing anything. I holy mama! <laughs> Why is always on Florida? <laughs> is there any news that is not Florida? It's like uh, maybe it's like California or something. <laughs> Why? Why cat's head? <laughs> Ah, poor cat! I think Nuri have to like watch out for this, <laughs> for this Florida, Florida man. Nuri, don't go to Florida. You might get shaved. <laughs> okay, onward to the next one. On Sayume, which uh, if anyone knows that I make a artwork of her one time before, so eh. and this is her weekly schedule technically already ended until like maybe like today yeah after if you watch this uh, video um, and then like maybe after you finish watching it you can drop by into your stream and then start uh, start watch her witchering wave stream who knows who knows who knows so again but move on to the next one uh, Ah, uh, really, I just keep saying move on to the next one, move on to the next one. Do you guys have a better one for me to um, do it? <laughs> so, uh, 
Shindeng, which is one of the VTuber I admire a lot. He does a lot of like awesome stuff, like this one, like bobbing, like when he do bobbing and having like this like things that like, going on there. And then nowadays he try out this thing, like you can use your mouse to pan and control your OBS like scene, like like a camera control stuff. It's awesome. Like he use a lot of like OBS related plugin and then use them and put them in, in various uh, situation and then uh, basically utilize them to the maximum. It reminds me in my back in the days, uh, I also try out shit tons of stuff to basically improve my stream uh, and make it much, much more interactive. It's, it's a very fun thing to do. So yeah, I would also try to look forward into this thing, maybe in the futures, um, do some content. Uh, Basically, I, I, I study and follow his thing a lot just to like uh, study how he used some of the stuff and then also discover some of the other uh, plugin. I think that it would be fun to have it. Uh, as most people already been through my stream, they already know that I actually created quite a lot of uh, fun things. Actually, um, half of the ideas are actually coming from him. So yeah, if you guys also want uh, anyone who is also a streamer or a content creator, they want to have like a very interactive like live, live stream experience, do follow Shindings and then all his shenanigans and you will get a lot of idea to do quite lots of stuff. He is technically what I can say the pioneer of OBS plugin VTuber. <laughs> and then, of course, ah, are you guys? excited for this from the anima gaki that will be held it and uh held in like uh, uh, malaysia's and if you try to uh focus on it and doki will be come one of the special guests that you will find in, within anima gaki so if anyone who is interesting want to join anima gaki uh, yeah 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 you guys will match meet doki over there too so yeah, too bad I can't go there, I'm broke. <laughs> uh, but actually, if you guys do pay attention to the Project Orbit um, uh, update thingy, uh, we will, uh, I, uh, Project Orbit um, will do uh, uh, something that related to a lot of like VP member and a lot of uh, indie VTuber stuff. So uh, if anyone want to pay attention, go to their stands and you guys will like see a lot of stuff there. You know, you know, yeah, no. Okay, moving along. VTuber insanity about Isa. Actually, Isa actually. Here's the thing. Like, I, I heard a few times, like in my Twitter, like I'm just scrolling past by, like, holy shit, her voice. Like, I I only can play a bit because I'm afraid of freaking like copyright strike. Um, not from her, it's like from very too convincing singing. Holy shit, her voice. Voice. I guess you guys are hearing like double due to the mic. <laughs> but yeah, that, that is like something that I want to show. Uh, this, this is like a very good thing, you know, in a way. So I won't get copyrights, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's move on to the next one. Someone made a crony animations. Yeah, just that. <laughs> Not lots of things that I want to talk about today on this particular thing. Uh, okay, move forward to the next special sessions that I added in uh, from the from the life hack god. Uh, he actually uh, contacted me that he want to make a video about XCOM and then want me to be featured in one of the characters. As you already can see, this is one of the characters that I am in and this guy is hella spiky hair. <laughs> Thank you for trying your best to at least like choose the most spikiest hair you can find. Uh, life hack. And then this is the rest of all his video. I did take it to the mute thingy because Again, copyright thingy, even though he doesn't really do copyright thing. Uh, YouTube sometimes will do false flag sometimes. It's, it's weird. Yeah, I know. Either way, this is what he actually trying to do. He have lots of like uh, explanations on things, 
a little bit uh, have fun with the playing playing thingy uh the sessions is talking about it his explanations on the game actually is quite well made uh the only thing if you really really have to nitpick about the uh, nitpick about like some of the things that he made so far is just the transitions need a little bit touch up uh, in the futures uh, so far like everything is actually really really good as you can see like it's very high productions on everything uh, he does tracking he does uh, video editing uh, he does all the transitions thingy every single thing but it's actually very fun it's a very dedicated uh, video about like lots of like entire game session of his so Remember, if anyone wants to watch it, come uh, go to your, uh, you already see it, Life at God. Just go to find his video and then have a little bit watch on, uh, uh, you know, like uh, XCOM stuff. If you really love this kind of stuff too, uh, it's basically it's like a chronicle journey of his gameplay. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do visit him. Do visit him. Uh, actually, his video will putting down in the video description. So anyone who wants to like take a look into it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it for today on showing VTuber and content creator stuff. And moving along. All right, guys, this will be the last part of the burn. Uh... All right, guys, this will be the last part of the show. Burning common section questions or burning question from the common sections. I still don't really have the name for it yet, but um, Sooner or later will be uh, this question is from Again, life hack got so life hack is asked what kind of chair do you prefer? Um, I'm not really sure what kind of chair are you mentioning? Uh, you mean like the hotel cock chair or <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Like then that that's like an infamous like chair positions in the hotel for some reasons. <laughs> it's like just one chair facing at the hotel bed for some reasons. But uh, I I definitely know that um you are not talking about that. Uh maybe it's just about like the chair you will sit in front of computers. If you really want to ask about that kind of chair, I can just give you one advice, any chair goes. Except one chair. That is gamer chair. I hate gamer chair. Uh, well, at least like the gamer chair, long as it's not designed like a race car seat, then it's fine for me. Why? Because that that kind of things are that that kind of shit is like for like one joyride drive, and then that's why the race car seat is sunken in, and then let you sit like a short period amount of time just like an hour or two if you are an actual gamer you would not sit for just two hours trust me so it's best for you even you want to get like a good solo chair or just like some like um you know like those kind of like rocky chairs and that yeah that stuff anyhow if you just want a servo chair just just get a normal solo chair. even if you want a better one get a office chair like specially made for office use those kind of super chair because they are designed for people who work for nine to five so the chair is designed to let you sit comfortably for nine to five and if you really want to shell out the money if you have the money to even get a very expensive gamer chair just get a premium server office chair okay just get that and then you get your ass will thank you for it. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> uh, that would be all. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay healthy. Stay safe. Until next time. Stay tuned. On to the next video. Bye bye.